okay guys let's move forward we have already extended uh, and created player and we created the context and let's go and implement how to create this context and when to create let's go so i will go to my player and viewport as you can see this is like initially a third person uh, but i need to have uh, some some components which will be overlapping with uh, different components so I can decide then yes these players are coming side by side so in that sense I will go to my mesh I will add a sphere collision and I will call it right hand area so basically and I will go here and try to put it somewhere I will also disable the snapping because I want to move it freely and I will put it somewhere around in the right hand area I think this is too uh, too big I will just go sphere radius and I will put it 25 let's go arrange I think here uh, looks fine so also uh, as you can see we will be using this uh, overlapping like a begin overlap method so but as you can see initially it is overlapping with our capsule so in that case, actually, let's go and remove this uh, uh, pawn uh, overlapping logic. Let's go to here and let's search for collision. And as you can see, the collision process is overlapped all dynamic. I will just go with custom, which is already overlapping with everything. I will ignore pawn. And for also, I need to have a left hand area because the other character is going to be here and in that sense the the component is going to be left hand area so let's go and duplicate this i will call it left hand area so we have left hand area and right hand area i will select left hand area and let's go here and the location i will just remove this minus to make it mirrored here in the uh, in a different direction so i will just adjust it somewhere around maybe here so here actually it looks uh, fine but as you can see these are the same components which is a sphere collision so i don't know actually which one is colliding uh, which one initially so i will go and give them tags i will go and search with tags for example left hand area will have let's say left tag and the right hand area will have right tag so actually this is uh, okay let's compile and let's go to right hand area I think it's better to do uh, with the right hand area I will go here and down there I will select the begin overlap so here we have our method let's go and let's print something if I compile and go here I don't see anything which is great because it's not overlapping anything yet I will go and open my content and I will drag one of my players somewhere around here so I will start I will go to near with this one and I'm getting hello okay actually that's good because I'm overlapping with something even if I am coming from opposite direction I'm still getting hello actually I'm getting two hellos because these two right components are overlapping with each other so here let's go and define our context logic and context creation logic I will open my player I will go to my variables let's create our uh, variable here which will be a holding and context so this is gonna be a BP holding hand context object reference so initially uh, which is not initialized actually which is a null here it doesn't have any reference so we need to create this so basically I need to have a, some kind of logic here let's go with other actor because this gives me what I am overlapping with I need to cast it to holding hands player if I'm gonna do something if I am only overlapping with the same class and also I will get other component other component is gonna give me whatever component I am overlapping with so actually here I will check with tags I will call it component has tag so I am over overriding the right hand area overlap a method so in that sense I'm actually I mean I have to overlap with left hand area so if these things 
I will just drag and branch if this is I'm overlapping with a uh, holding hands player and if I'm overlapping with the left hand area I will print something let's see so I'm coming here I am getting hello which is perfect I am coming from here I am not getting anything because my right hand is or left hand is overlapping with left hand if I'm coming from here my right hand is overlapping with right hand and nothing happens if I come here hello if I go to the other side I will also get hello which is perfect actually we it is working this logic is okay so instead of printing something we are gonna actually create our holding hand context so basically there's a different approaches initially you can go and put this holding hand context and set it during event begin play but for example we have like 2000 players in our level and maybe that let's say they will never hold their hands in that sense we will be holding 2000 instances of this holding hand context which is not gonna be very efficient so I will create this context whenever I need it so I will go and create this content actually here so first let's try to get it if it is there or not let's go to convert to validated get so uh, if it is uh, valid I will do something if it is not valid let's go with this one because I need to construct this I will construct object from class and I will select my BP holding hand context so here actually I uh, constructed it and I can call init function to set the leader and follower because I know for example here right hand area let's say I am the leader I will go and self-reference I will call I am the leader and I need a follower so who is follower here whatever uh, actor I am overlapping with which is holding hands player and here this is gonna be a follower here so I initialized it actually before initializing it let's go and set our context here so holding hand context will be this one and then I can go and initialize this one but actually let's think about what if it is valid then still I need to go to initialize then let's remove this and let's put it here and I will get my holding hand context because here I already set it and then I can actually go and here in the follower because I have initialized it for myself I am the leader but I will set for the follower as well so I will go and set holding hand context I will go and these set these things together so if it is valid it means that it is already set and I can just go initialize it with myself as a leader and the follower which will be the other guy actually that's that's basically it initially let's compile actually let's have one more custom event so we can debug actually what's happening here we can uh, call it custom event let's say debug context and I will go with colon editor it's gonna be printing basically and let's also append I will get my holding hand context actually let's convert it to validated get as well because it might be null if I want to uh, call it if it is valid I will print this string I will get my holding context and I will get players and here let's say the leader is this one and then follower is this one let's compile and let's go for example if I am coming here actually let's go with simulating but I don't have any other uh, different thing so I will drag one more player here so I can simulate them I will go here and I will press simulate so here actually 
it has to be initialized. If I go there, there is a debug context. I will press it and it will say leader is holding hands player and the follower is holding hands player too. So I will be a follower here in this case and this guy is will be a leader. So if I go here, still I am leader and follower. Actually, let's go and fix this because we want to clear if the overlapping has ended. Let's go to our player class. Let's get this one somewhere around here. Let's select our right hand area again because uh, we initially implement this logic here. And let's go with on component and overlap. Let's put it here. Actually, I will have the same logic. I will just copy and paste these values. So I will get uh, other actor. And also I will get other component. And I'm still, if uh, the overlapping ends with left, then actually I still get the, my holding hand context. If it is valid, then I will clear it. That's basically it initially. Let's go compile and let's simulate it. I put them together. I press debug context. I get everything. I removed it and there is no leader and no follower. And here I am. Let's go and play with this guy. So here let's debug context. There is no leader and follower. I put them here. And debug context leader is two and follower is this guy. I, mean, I am follower and this guy is leader. I will also select this player and debug context. They have to be showing the same thing because it is the same context. Leader is player two and follower is player. I will go here. Leader is player two, follower is player. Actually we have created our context and use it. Actually I can, I will just uh, collapse the entire function. Maybe we might need it. Let's call it debug bug context print. Actually, let's go and check what we have done. We've implemented our context and creation logic and collisions. Yeah, we will go uh, to with uh, create a leader arm animation and we will create the animation blueprint uh, in the next video. See you there.